Hello and welcome to Forever Fit with Anthony Cheem. Today's podcast is all about the best food combinations and how combining certain foods can affect your digestion. Follow these simple steps and you'll be on your way to living with a consistent level of pure energy and vitality each day. So thank you for joining us, strategizing with you, sharing principles and practices to upgrade and enhance your life in terms of your physical health, emotional health mental health, spiritual health, and relationships all around. So at the the end of the day, your health is your wealth. Your wealth is your health. You are not rich unless you are full of vibrant energy and focus. And part part of doing that is starting with your physical body, your Lamborghini, which you would not feed the lowest form of fuel. You would feed it the highest octane fuel, highest octane gasoline, and you get it tuned up. You would take care of the engine. You take care of the motor. You take care of everything that is connected that makes up the human body. That is your Lamborghini, which is priceless. Okay. So if you haven't joined us the past few episodes, uh, we are continuing on this pr- principles and practices around the physical body. And then we're going to go into, into the few, uh, few weeks later into mental and emotional health and well-being, well-being and practices and principles there and on to spiritual health and vitality to as well. So today we are going to talk about one of the topics uh, about food combination and the importance of food combinations. Now for people that are vegetarian and vegans, you won't necessarily have to worry about this because this really doesn't really apply to you because you do not eat meat. But for the people that do eat meat, which is the majority of the planet, um, if you decide to eat meat and here's the thing about about what it comes down to digestion. And we're going to talk about a topic tomorrow is going to be about gut health about gut health, the importance of gut health, but today is going to be about digestion and how to how to rapidly, because uh, at the end of the day, we want whatever we consume in our body that goes through our gut, we want to be able to assimilate, digest, and then finally eliminate. We want that process of eliminate, uh, assimilation, digestion, and elimination to occur quickly so our bodies can focus on what we need to focus on, on a daily basis, work, play, relationships, fun, whatever, whatever it might be. Uh, but if, if we're feeding our bodies uh, and not combining our foods properly and we're feeding our bodies uh, toxic, you know, fuel, toxic beverages, toxic food, then our bodies, uh, t- what it tends to do, all our nerve energy goes to our gut so we can finally digest this. We don't want the digestion process to slow down. We want it to, we want it to run on, on, on all eight cylinders. So one of the ways we can do that is through food combinations. And we're going to go into that uh, right now. And tomorrow is going to be about digestion and how we can enhance our digestion because 70% of our immune system is related to our gut. And today is going to kind of just be a precipitator to what we're going to talk about and go into full effect tomorrow. So food combinations, what does that mean? What can we do to enhance our digestion and combine our foods so that our bodies make the most out of our, uh, our, our out of the food that we're, we're feeding our bodies? So one of the things I learned about was food combinations. And this originally was by the, uh, the doctor uh, Pavlov. And he talked about, and even Tony Robbins, I learned this from, and a few other people that I learned this from, uh, nutritional experts, and they talk about food, proper food and combinations. So here's the principle I'm going to share with you right now. It is this. You don't want to be eating a meat or protein, a meat protein with a complex carbohydrate. So if you eat something like pizza, pepperoni, and sausage, and all that stuff on bread, you don't want to be doing that. It's going to interrupt your digestion big time. And here's the thing: what I've what I've discovered, according to research, in our in our in our in our in our mouth, there is an enzyme, an alkaline enzyme called prolactin, and in our stomach, it's there's a there's an acidic enzyme called pepsin. And in order to digest meat, we need to release the pepsin. Uh, digestive enzyme, which is an acid. But in order to digest and break down carbohydrates, complex carbohydrates, we need to release the prolactin, which is the alkaline enzyme. Now, when the alkaline en- enzyme and the acidic enzyme meet together, they neutralize each other, which means that if they neutralize each other, then the effects of digestion can, like greatly and largely slows down. So what we want to do is combine meats with you know, salads, vegetables, Fruits should be eaten on their own if you can, um, but meats in the south. So let's say if you go out for dinner, like, okay, what should I eat? Do I want to eat a meat? If you're going to eat a meat, eat it with fruits or sorry, eat it with salads and some steamed vegetables. So if you go to the keg or you go to one of these steak, steak restaurants, you order a steak, let's say 
having a baked potato and pasta and bread with it, probably not the best idea because they're again, the, 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 the digestive juices, the enzymes will basically interrupt each, uh, interrupt each other and digestion will slow down. And you don't want food just kind of just sitting there in your stomach because your energy will just be completely depleted. Have you ever ate like four pieces of pizza with meat and pepperoni and stuff? And then, you know, 30 minutes later, you got that what they call the itis, okay, with that sense of tiredness. I want to take a nap. So what you want to do, if you you can't, doesn't mean you can't eat pizza, but if you're going to eat the pizza, maybe go thin crust and have a ton of vegetables on top. That's what would be the smart thing to do. If you're going to get, eat a hamburger, so hamburger, what is it? You got a meat protein and some and bread, and you got the bun, right? So what we want to do, rather than use the bread, maybe have it, and, and a lot of restaurants are doing this now because a lot of people are actually taking part in doing this, uh, doing food combinations, is they take the, the beef patty and they wrap it in a lettuce wrap or they put the beef patty on a salad uh, with all the all the colors of the rainbow. Now, if, let's say you go to a restaurant, and you're like, you know what, I don't want, I don't feel like meat today. I want a pasta or I want baked potato or whatever it is. Have the baked potato on top of a salad or have a baked potato and some bread or some pasta with some steamed vegetables in a salad, but not never together, never rice. So complex carbohydrates are rice, pasta, bread, potatoes. Uh, the meat proteins, of course, are pork, you know, fish chicken, beef, anything like that. You don't want to combine. I'm reiterating this because I'm reinforcing this. If you can trust me, one, one of the things, when I started to apply this, this one principle about proper food combinations, man, did my dig digestion get so much better. I didn't get that itis feeling. I didn't get that tired feeling after eating a big meal. If you do this, if you decide this, ask yourself the question, do I want the meat? Yes. If you're going to eat the meat, have it with a salad, have it with some steamed vegetables, and you'll be good to go. If you want the pasta or the complex carbohydrate or the rice, have it with tons of steamed vegetables, but never together with a complex carb and with a meat. And that will that alone will will enhance and largely and uh, empower your your body. Just I, when I started applying this to my life, I know Cam, you're you're a vegan, so you don't have to worry about this. But I can tell you, um, I don't eat a lot of meat, but when I do, I I use this combination as best as I can. Do I go off once in a while? Sure. But most of the time I suggest applying this food combination principle. And that is an important, important lesson. The, the reality is food combinations, a reminder, do, if you're going to eat meat, combine it with a, with a salad and some vegetables or anything like that. But if you're going to eat a carbo complex carbohydrate, like rice or pasta or potatoes or anything like that, or bread, whatever it is, have it with uh, vegetables and pasta, but never our vegetables and and uh, a salad, but never together. Do your very best to do that. So if you're at a restaurant and you say, you know, I'm going to have a steak, then have a steak on top of a salad. Great. If you want the bread, have the bread with, bread with a salad. Or if you want fish, have it with some steamed vegetables, anything like that. If you do that, you'll find you won't get that bloated feeling as much. And you'll find your, 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 your energy is going to be sustained rather than go up and then come down. You feel like taking a two hour nap. I'm sure everyone has, has experienced that, especially over the holidays. So food combinations, big one. And tomorrow's episode, we are going to talk about digestion and the, and the power of the gut and the importance of the gut. And I'm going to give you a few principles because 70% as a reminder of your immune system is a result of the health of your gut. So take care of your gut. And I'm going to give you a couple metaphors for that tomorrow. And we're going to talk about what we can do to enhance and, and magnify the health of our gut. So we can, we can be an upgraded, most passionate, powerful, and purposeful version of ourselves. So if you like this podcast, if you love it, if you enjoy it, we, we love the fact that you join us weekly, daily, whatever it is, whether you listen actively or passively, we love it. If you like it, subscribe to us on iTunes or Spotify or YouTube, whatever, whatever means, whatever platforms you're using. And if you, if you really care for people about health, maybe share this episode or share whatever episodes that really resonate with you, with the people you love and the people you care about, because we're here to give you the best of what we know. And, um, I'm continually upgrading myself. So any, any new things that come out, I'm reading about it. I'm studying it myself and I am, I'm also applying it. I would not preach anything I don't endorse um, and that I'm doing myself. So thank you guys for joining us to your continued upgrade and evolution. Live it up with power, purpose, and passion. See you tomorrow for digestion. Thanks, guys, to your greatest endeavors.